Welcome to this screencast titled Master Data Services Security. My name is Ola Ekdal and I'm with IT Mentors. In this session we're going to look at how you secure the Master Data Services environment and we're going to take a quick demo and look at the actual functionalities themselves, how we can go in and assign a group certain permissions and specify what that group can and cannot do within the Master Data Services web-based tool. Now before we get started on that however I want to talk a little bit about security in Master Data Services. So you use the web-based admin tool to go in and grant either individual users or groups access to certain functionalities within Master Data Services. Now these functionalities could be such as accessing for example the Explorer view and it can also be once they're in the Explorer view what data they can actually work with if they have update rights, if they have read-only access and we can also go in and completely deny them access. Now these users or groups that you're working with can be either Active Directory groups or users or they can be groups and users from your local computer. As a best practice which is a fairly typical best practice when you deal with security it's always a good idea to work with groups instead of individual users because that is going to make it a whole lot easier for you to actually manage. Now the types of permissions that we can set up I mentioned that we can either give access to actual UI elements or functional areas within the master data manager user interface and these functional areas are explorer, version management, integration management, system administration and lastly user and group permissions. Now when you assign permissions to one or more of these functional areas basically you are gonna make that functional area visible within the web-based tool itself. Now once you have given access, let's say, to the Explorer view, the next thing that you need to specify is which models that this particular user has access to or this group has access to. And as I mentioned earlier, you can assign read-only, update, or deny permissions to a model. So the only models that I will actually see when I log in is going to be the ones that I have read-only or update permissions to. And we're going to see that in a demo that I'm going to do shortly. Now you can also give permissions on individual members and you can be even more explicit than that and actually go into hierarchies and whatnot. But when we talk about members, just like with models, you have the ability to give read-only, update and deny permissions. So read-only meaning that the members are displayed but the user cannot change them, update, they're displayed and the user can change the attribute values, deny meaning that the members are not displayed at all. So now that we have a basic understanding of how functionality works, let's go ahead and take a quick look at a demo. Here we're looking at the Master Data Services web-based admin tool. And you can see that right now I'm logged in as administrator, as it says in this upper right corner. So I'm going to go into user and group permissions. And I'm going to add a group called product managers and I want to give them read access only to the product model. So what we're looking at here on this first screen are individual users that currently have access and, that, and have logged in to the tool itself. So right now we only see administrator here. I'm going to go into manage groups and I'm going to add a new group. So we'll add a domain or a local machine name and I have a group here called product managers. We're going to go in and we're going to check that name and it checks out just fine. We click OK. The next step is to go to this little drop down here. We'll say edit. I'm going to start off with general. You can see we have a number of tabs available here. So this is just some general information in terms of when this was created and whatnot. We're going to go to the next one, which is membership. Now, this one is empty right now, and you can't change this, meaning that you can't change individual members of this group, product managers. However, what's going to happen here is that as users that are part of that group log in, they will be listed here. In functions, you can see that here are the available functions that we 
covered earlier, Explorer, Version Management, etc. So I'm going to click a little pencil symbol and I'm going to give them access to just the Explorer. And then I'm going to save and continue on to the next tab. And the next tab here is going to allow me to give access to my models. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to give read only access to my product model. I'm going to save and continue on to the next one here. Notice here that I, if I wanted to, I could also go in and be even more explicit with um, hierarchies here as well and hierarchy members. So you can be very, very precise here in terms of how you want users to interact with your data. So now we should have the group here, product managers. So um, what I need to do now is I need to log in as another user that is part of my product managers group. So currently, as I mentioned earlier, I'm logged in as an administrator. I do have another user, part of the product managers group called Adam Barr. Now by default, the way that the web app works is that it uses integrated security. So to be prompted with the login screen that allows you to enter a username and password, you need to go into tools and internet options. And under security, you need to go in under local intranet, which is going to be the default, and change the custom level. Scroll all the way down and make sure that you change the a setting here to prompt for username and password. Once you have that set up, what's going to happen is that when we open this up again, we now get prompted with the uh, window security login dialog box. So I'm going to log in as Adam, which again is a member of the product managers group. We'll do the username and password. And notice here that the only functional area that we see is Explorer, just like I specified. Also, we only see the product model, even though we have several other models available. When I go into Explorer, and we'll go into Entities, let's say I want to go into Products, you'll also notice here that everything is read-only. It has this grayish color to it. And also we see the padlock, and when I click on a cell here, I can't actually go into edit mode. So we've gone over the basic steps for getting up and running with security in master data services. If you want more information, there is some good resources available online. The first article here that you see linked at the very top takes you to some more in-depth information about MDS security. As always, make sure to check at msdev.com for additional videos. And I highly recommend checking out the MDS product team's blog. Lots of really, really good information. And with that, I would like to say 